Hi guys, Mandy here um, with the box. I have been patiently waiting all day for this delivery from Amazon. Um, it's almost five o'clock, so they really took their sweet time. I, um, I'm so nervous and excited. I know that <laughs> this pink box causes a lot of turmoil and trauma in the reborn community. Um, I understand, I get that there's a lot of controversy with this company. Um, if you don't know, they make affordable silicone dolls. They are not painted um, a lot, they just a bit of blushing, um, but people really love them. They're, I did a lot of, I looked into this for a long time because I have wanted a silicone baby for about seven years. As long as I have been in the reborn community, I have wanted a silicone baby. I just really knew that that's what I wanted. That was the feel, that was the everything. That was like my top prize <laughs> was a silicone baby. And I remember Hello Melissa Sue, um, I remember her baby, this was going back a long time ago, Nala, I think was her name. She had the paint issues. And I remember I loved that baby so much. I wanted that baby so much. And I remember she sold her paint issues and all, and it was like over $2,000. And I remember being so heartbroken thinking, I will never, ever be able to afford a silicone, full silicone baby, ever. There's no way. Um, <laughs> that was a used, <laughs> baby that had paint issues and it was still two thousand dollars so this company makes affordable they mass produce them now the controversy comes with the fact that their their dolls have been taken from kits they've taken what looks like even baby like like a baby you'd maybe find at walmart some of them look like those little plastic babies they it, but they've all the problem is the reborn kits. They've taken a reborn kit made by an artist and they've made a mold out of it and then poured it into silicone. So they've t stolen that art. And I get that, I totally get that. But this company, is that is how everything works. That is how absolutely every company works. When they see a mass market of, you know, here's something that is extravagantly expensive, um, there's tons of people who want it that can't afford it. Let's find a middleman. Like think of, uh, like everybody growing up, everybody, did we not all have like in high school, the knockoff Louis Vuitton bag, the white bag with the pink and blue LVs all over it. Yeah, we did. That was this, um, drinks, everything does it clothing perfume everything i used to collect blythe dolls and i had a dozen actual real blythe dolls like i had mandy cotton candy and prairie prosy and a bunch of others i had a ton but i had one factory doll i thought it was the coolest thing ever everybody in the blythe community thought having a factory doll was super cool because the story was that the factory workers like making the blythe dolls would take pieces home with them and then mosh posh them together and sell these dolls for like 50 bucks instead of the 100 plus dollars they were going for like legit ones now we know now like at the time this was like seven years ago seven or eight years ago when I was collecting light dolls they they were flooding the market at that time so at some point somebody obviously made a mold of them nobody made people feel bad about that collectors had them um artists artists had bought them because it was cheaper to do a face up on a factory doll than it was on a legit one. So stop with the hate. <laughs> when I was researching, looking into this baby, I just, I saw a lot of hate. <laughs> and it made me scared. It made me feel like I was gonna have to have this baby as a secret, but I don't want that. The fun part about like having dolls and stuff is sharing the love and dressing them up and cuddling them and taking pictures and I'm not gonna hide this away so 
when you get these dolls, this is what they come in. I'm super excited. This um, pink box. She's heavy. She's eight pounds. She's so heavy. Um, she's all wrapped up. Let's get her out of here. Out of this plastic bag. It's so, <laughs> so random to have a baby in a plastic bag. Um, it's so pretty though. They obviously, you know, are going for the box opening look. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Sorry about the crinkling. Some people love it, some people hate it. I'm a hater of it, so let's go fast. Now, she is <laughs> snug as a bug in a rug. Look at her, oh my gosh. I almost wanna cry because I never thought I would have I never thought I would experience silicone like I'm feeling the back of her neck. She's so squishy. Um, so I can tell right away, like the paint on her lips is not the greatest. Um, but <laughs> she's freaking cute, you know? Okay. So that's the thing with these dolls. Yes, they are affordable. Yes, you got the controversy. Um, their paint is not... It's very minimum, so you have to um, keep that in mind. I looked into this for a very long time, guys. I watched so many videos. I even joined a face group book, a Facebook, a Facebook group for a hot minute, um, but nobody was answering my questions. I would like to say a shout out and a thank you to um, Fabulous Life of Lala. I think I'm pretty sure that's her YouTube channel. It's a mom and daughter duo. They're so sweet and so cute. And I knew sh they had two um, Volance dolls and I one was a bit newer and one was two years old. And um, I reached out to them and asked like how the paint held up. And uh, they were so sweet. They actually made me a comparison video. And the mom told me the daughter's favorite doll is the older doll, the one whose paint is faded away and is non, you know. So that really was um, comforting to me. Okay, it is so <laughs> weird. It is so weird. Like I was so used to reborns and dolls. Like, you know, it's just hard plastic pulling, but this I'm gently tugging on the um, sleeper she's in. Um, and it's like her hand sticking to it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. I'm, I am so ecstatic right now. Um, <laughs> you're going to think I'm crazy. Okay. I got the girl. I ordered the girl, right? But I wanted the boy. If you follow me, uh, you know I just love boy dolls. All my freeborns ended up being boys in the end. I don't know what that's about, but um, anyways, I heard that people got the wrong doll. I got the friggin' wrong doll. I ordered the girl and I got the boy. I did. Yeah, I got the boy. <laughs> it's got a little wiener. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm fully gonna take this off of him. So there are gonna be boy parts. I think that's allowed because he's a doll. But if you don't wanna see it, totally look away. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I'm a little sad because this outfit doesn't fit, <laughs> doesn't really fit my um, um, beach baby. Um, and I was like, oh, it'll fit my, re it'll fit my silicone. I need to buy boy clothes. <laughs> so excited okay okay I'm gonna stop this and I'm going to remove his clothes and get a little put a little cloth or something over his wiener and uh, then I'll be back okay be right back okay so here he is um, he is covered I don't know why they sent that's what threw me off because of his outfit I was like oh he's in a dark outfit and the girl was in a light but I totally forgot that the boy was in the dark and the girl was in the light and oh my gosh I'm just I'm really happy right now now he is covered in fluff I'm going to give him a bath he also has some dirt apparently my fingernails are dirty too 
<laughs> he has a little bit of dirt on his face that uh, hopefully will come off with a little bit of um, a little bit of mild soap. Um, but I just held him in my arms for a second while I uh, was taking off his sleeper. And it, <laughs> yes, this is exactly what I wanted. Um, this is exactly what I've been searching for. You have no idea how many dolls I've gone through, how many everything. Um, I'm just ecstatic. So I'm going to uh, give him a bath. I'll show you his details, but like I said, he's covered in fluff. Like they really did a poor outfit change on the on the doll that gets stick to everything. Now you can see a bit of a seam, but it's not that bad. And uh, his head actually isn't all that bad either. Um, yeah, but it's just, it's crazy. This is unreal. <laughs> I'm like shaking. I just can't believe that I have a silicone baby and you have no idea how long how much i've waited for this so this is his box opening now i have to i'm so happy i didn't buy any more girl newborn clothes because they'd have nobody to fit i'm gonna give this little tater tot a bath and uh i have a really cute star wars sleeper that i can put him in and uh yeah thanks for sticking around Help me think of a name idea. I don't know what to name him. Oh my gosh. I'm in love. This little dirty lost boy. <laughs> Looks like a little lost boy. Oh God. Love him. Okay. See you soon, guys. Bye-bye.